Hi everyone guys, in an earlier video we talked how to send MIDI timecode from a timecode source laptop to your average console through a network connection. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll add the link in the description and in cards too. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to send MIDI timecode through a timecode source laptop to your console through a MIDI device. So let's get started. For this, we need the, a MIDI device that has USB as well as MIDI port. Uh, this is a M Audio MIDI Sport 2x2. It has USB as well as MIDI in and out. So you might not have a device like this. If you have an audio device that has USB as well as a MIDI output, you can use that device uh, to send time code, MIDI time code from Reaper to your Avalites console. So let's get started. What we have to do is connect your USB port to your laptop, your, to your PC that sends the MIDI time code, the Reaper, and a MIDI output to the input of your Avalites console. For that, you need a MIDI cable. This is a MIDI cable. You can see both sides are MIDI. One side will be connected to your uh, output of your MIDI device uh, or the sound card, and the other one will be plugged to your Avalanche console's MIDI input. Once it is done, it is easier. All you have to do is go to Reaper, Preferences and MIDI Devices. If it is a sound card, for example, Steinberg UR44, you'll, what you have to do is double click and enable output to this device and press OK and go to Route and select your uh, MIDI device. Uh, in Reaper, you can add your tracks that you need to do the time code. Then we have to go to insert and insert a SMPT LTC MTC time code generator. I can increase the length of the time code and right click on the uh, empty area and go to source properties. In source properties, it will be send audio LTC, but we are not sending L LTC, we are sending MIDI time code MTC. So we have changed this to send MIDI MTC and frame rate we can keep 30. But if your audios are in different frame rate, you can change it to a different frame rate. But I'll keep in 30 and press apply and OK. And once it is done, when you play your time code, it will reach to your uh, Avalanche console and you should check your time code settings in your console time code one it should be in midi time code if it is when you play in reaper your source will be received and that source you can use it to trigger q list or if you're using latest version avalanche 15 or 15.1 you can use source to trigger timeline so guys use it uh, try if you have any question don't hesitate to comment down below i would love to help you as much as possible like this video comment and share this video with others so that they can grow too if you haven't subscribed this channel, subscribe. It will be a great help for us to grow and help others. So till we meet with new knowledge to share, keep in touch and keep learning every day. God bless you.